Anyways, um, really? Phone call? Sorry, one sec. I'm so sorry. I just unplugged the phone <laughs> because no one gang, ain't got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Hi, my name is Father Mike Schmitz. This is Ascension Presents. So back in the day, um, there was this TV show called The Brady Bunch. There was one time when I think Bobby got a part in the school play, but he was cast as Benedict Arnold. Bobby was really upset to be cast as Benedict Arnold. Why? Because it was always this line. <sighs> Who are you? I'm Benedict Arnold, traitor to our country. It was always that Benedict Arnold, traitor to our country. Be <laughs> so I remember thinking, like, whenever I hear the word Benedict, the name Benedict Arnold, I think traitor to our country. We never think the name Judas. What do you think, traitor? Um, Brutus. What do you think, traitor? This there and actually even Dante. Dante, um, he wrote the Inferno, right, and the. Paradiso and the Purgatorio, um, he wrote about this and actually he said in the deepest circle of hell, deepest pit of hell, reserved for those who are betrayers, those who are traitors, even Lucifer being a betrayer, a traitor. And yet here's the thing, I think, and we, we probably hopefully rightly, rightly say like, yeah, I don't, I don't, betrayal, not a good thing. Being a traitor, not a good thing. And yet how many of us enter into this thing that we might call everyday betrayal. Everyday betrayal. What's, what do I call every day, everyday betrayal? Um, another word for it is gossip. James even says this. He has harsh words, strong words. He says, if anyone thinks he's religious and does not bridle his tongue but deceives his heart, his religion is vain. If anyone thinks they're religious, I mean, because here's the thing. I don't know if you know about this, but sometimes the most gossip can happen at church from church people religious people. But St. James says, if anyone thinks they're religious but doesn't bridle their tongue, their religion is worthless. It does not help them one bit. So why do we keep doing this? I think one of the reasons we keep, we keep uh, gossiping, doing this everyday betrayal, is because we give it fancy, we give it nice names. We say, I'm just sharing. I'm just venting. I'm just processing some stuff. But think about this. Okay, I'm just venting. No, there's a time when venting is actually legit. You need to vent. Where like I need to, here's what I'm carrying in my life. Here's what I'm going through in my life. I need to vent. I need to invite people to help. I need to be taken care of. So please come and care for me. I'm going to share this part of my life. I'm going to vent this part of my life with you so that you can bear it with me. Now that's not bad, but here's the thing. When my venting stops being, I'm inviting you to just uh, help me carry this burden to I'm recruiting you to be on my side against that person, then it's become everyday betrayal. Then it's become gossip. Or I say, I'm just sharing, I'm just sharing. And especially in our culture right now where we have this like, you have full access to everyone's life, that there's no such thing as like a secret, that, that you, you know, broadcast people's lives. So it's like, you just share it to the world. But if I'm sharing the private details, the, the private possessions, I mean, you think about it in that, think about it in terms of someone's possessions. If it was their car or their house, Say, oh, you can go, go, go ahead and use their car. Go ahead and use their house. It's fine. I'm going to share their stuff. It would be kind of the same thing. And so it's in a certain sense, when I'm sharing someone else's story, when I'm sharing someone else's information, well, I'm, especially when I'm sharing someone else's wounds or things they're ashamed of, is that's everyday betrayal. That's gossip. That's deadly. But there's sometimes, of course, so sometimes we can vent well, sometimes we can't. Sometimes we share well, so about myself. Sometimes we ought not. And sometimes we need to process things. Sometimes we're going through something that actually, I'm going through this, I'm trying to figure out like what to do here, and I need to process out loud with someone I can trust. And actually, in part of that processing means that I'm gonna be talking about someone else. I remember talking to a man who was manager at his company, and he said he had to get together with other co-managers, and they had to evaluate the performance of their employees. And he said, I just feel so badly talking about the strengths and weaknesses of these people that are working for us. Is that gossip? Like, no, that's not gossip. Because why? Because you're saying what you need to say. You're saying what needs to be said about this other person. As opposed to just that curiosity, as opposed to I'm just going to complain about them, as opposed to I'm going to share their story for no good reason. Processing, the right kind of processing means this. I'm talking to the right people, the people who actually can help me about the right thing to accomplish the right end. Just because I, I get to process, just because I do need counsel, just because I do might need some advice, I might need some advice at this moment, that doesn't mean that I don't need discretion. <laughs> that doesn't mean I don't need charity 
in what I share and in what I don't share. Our words destroy lives and relationships, communities, and they can, our words and relationships can build lives and relationships and communities. There's a line from St. Paul's letter to the Ephesians chapter 4, he says, when you're talking basically, say only the good things that people need to hear, things that will really help them. And one of the questions I get to ask, I have to ask, when I'm venting in the right way, or when I'm sharing in the right way, when I need to process, say, wait, let me just say the good things that people really need to hear, things that will truly help them. If this is not what they need to hear, then I shouldn't be saying it. If it's not what will really help them, then I need to keep it to myself. And if you have a trouble keeping it to yourself, I invite you to make Psalm 141 verse 3 your daily prayer. Psalm 141 verse 3 says this. The psalmist says, Set a guard, O Lord, before my mouth, a gatekeeper at my lips. That might be some of us, for some of us, who talk a lot and we may fall into the everyday betrayal on a regular basis, that might be the necessary prayer that we need to pray every single day in order to say only the good things that people need to hear, things that will really, really help them. Said, O Lord, a guard before my mouth, a gatekeeper at my lips. Because what we want to say is not what divides, we want to say what unites. We don't want to say what tears down, we want to say the things that build people up, things that will truly help them. Because when we do this, our religion is not worthless but our faith in Jesus and the grace he offers us is powerful and the community is alive. From all of us here at Ascension Presents, my name's Father Mike. God bless.